So we've done many things in the classroom to kind of think about how can we make this world better for them. So while studying the mountaintop, um, I asked my students about the events that they would like to see. Uh, if Dr. King had a chance to see it, what would you want to see Dr. King look at at the mountaintop? And one thing that you'll notice is my students are very big on me using social media. They're obsessed with me on TikTok. They, they push me there. That video would not exist without them pushing me there, right? And so um, they love to get confirmations of things on, on different social media, especially on Twitter. They feel smart people are on Twitter. <laughs> Who am I to break their hearts? <laughs> but with our conversation, they said, will you share our ideas on Twitter, let people see what we think, get some feedback? I said, sure, no problem. So here are some of the things that they talked about. And the Super Bowl had just happened, right? And so it started off light. Like we talked about that music evolution that's on the Super Bowl. Like who would have thought we'd see Snoop Dogg Crip Walk on the, on the Super Bowl, <laughs> right? Like who would have thought we'd see Eminem take a knee at the Super Bowl? And so they started talking about that and then they got to Michael Jackson because he always finds a way in the conversation. Um, and then Black Panther because, you know, Chadwick, it, the loss of Chadwick, is major for us, right? And so they started to talk about like television and how there's been this evolution of shows like Martin and Good Times and the Boondocks. And then they went and said, Sanford and Son is always, it's, it's still number one, it's top tier. I'm like, I agree with you, right? And then they talked about the Fresh Prince. They all still watch that. Um, the Proud Family and how the dynamic of it being a nuclear family, all the people being different shades. And then Abbott Elementary, they love Quinta. They love Quinta. And we all should love Quinta, because she, she is changing the game for us. So we started off light, and then the conversation kind of evolved. And you need to know, I had nothing to do with this conversation. I just kind of sat back and took notes. And so they started to talk about like Obama and Kamala's inauguration, and then they got going about Trump's four years in office, and that, that, that whew, yeah, ask young people, right? and then talking about Me Too movements and how necessary they thought that was and the LGBTQ plus community having the advancements and the struggles that they still do. And it just kept going and they talked about the water crisis, they talked about their school. And they were like, we have advanced so much but there's so much more we need to do. At the end, there was a really emotional discussion about George Floyd and Breonna Taylor the Black Lives Matter movement and the protests around the world. Colin Kaepernick taking a knee. John Lewis's last letter to us. Thinking about how people can go into a church and shoot people just because they're different from them. The fact that people aren't taking school shootings seriously. My students are always going to be deep thinkers. So when I, I had that moment with them, I, I kind of started to think about what I'd like to talk about with you today. And in listening to them, I noticed three key areas that I think I wanna hit home for you today. Number one, they need to see themselves, okay? We have to find ways for these young people to see themselves. Number two, they need adults who are committed and believe in change. Number three, they need the capability to be in charge of celebrating the world they deserve. Now I know for some of you, this calling maybe be awakening for you and an adjustment, and I hope it is. And if you are doing this kind of work, I hope that this is a reaffirmation of what we must do, because this is what the young people need. The first thing I would say to you when we think about students